What's up everybody, Stepdaz here. I had to rewrite the Friday funds for this week, so I'm afraid the Friday funds of Great Minds, Tyler vs. Stepdaz, not gonna happen this week. Probably gonna take a week and make sure I iron out all the details. Being unbiased is a hard thing to do. It really is. You almost have to discredit yourself everywhere you want to give yourself credit. That's how hard it is to be unbiased. But at the same time, if there's a point that you can prove, empirical evidence is the way. Which leads me into COPPA. My empirical evidence is right here. These are my channel statistics as far as my audience. I think I'm clean when it comes down to the COPPA law saying that my channel is not for kids. That doesn't mean that kids don't watch. I'm looking at you, Abby, and you should be ashamed of yourself for continuing to watch that video after I told you not to. Sorry, I had to death stare her for a second. This brings up COPPA and the future of this channel. I should be okay. The FTC clearly said that they can throw a bill of $42,000, which was making YouTubers go absolutely ballistic as far as it, but they don't want to go after people that are well, like me, they're probably going to go after channels that have subscribers in the millions before they even touch subscribers in the hundreds, much less the thousands. Tens of thousands? You might be in trouble. Hundreds of thousands? You're getting there. <laughs> huh. Hundreds of thousands? You're getting there. But, COPPA is one of those laws that the FTC has proposed to try to make everybody safe. It's very poorly executed in my opinion, and also in my opinion, it's a useless law because 20 child advocacy groups, you know, that's a useless term if you think about it, child advocacy group. When I think of a child advocacy group, I think of someone's mom or dad or St. Jude's Children's Hospital, to name a few. That's my personal opinion. I'm sure there are child advocacy groups that do good work. Anti-drugs, anti-bullying, I can see stuff like that be important. But not anti-advertisement, come on now. COPPA is one of those things that YouTube could have fought, but didn't. And that's why we have the immense trouble that it is now. It's not just YouTube. The FTC is working with YouTube on this. Unfortunately, YouTube's bots are YouTube bots. They're not perfect. So the only thing that I can tell for any YouTuber that wants to take my advice seriously, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not your lawyer. And this is just my opinion. Don't sweat it as hard as you were. I know I was losing sleep. That's why I got sick because my immune system was going crazy. I was super depressed about this whole thing. I was so afraid I'm gonna lose my channel. I'm gonna lose everything. But I took a step back and I watched an important video, link in the description, that helped me cope with it a little better. This guy brings up good points. He is not my lawyer, he's not anyone else's lawyer. But he brings up good points about COPPA. And as a good American citizen, I am going to follow the law. Do I agree with it? No. But unless you're a lawmaker, I wouldn't try to disagree with it. You can write your congressman, there's an option. You can leave a comment on the FTC's website. There's an option. You can even sign the petition to ease up COPPA's law against YouTube. Should YouTube be paying for it? 
immensely. This is not our fault. This is YouTube's fault. But by working with the FTC, they are clearly, clearly throwing us at a raging bull. And I mean the magnum, not the animal. So try to lighten up, YouTubers. Be yourself. Gather your community. Because strong communities end up on top at the end of the day. And I think that's the one thing the social justice movement has right, in my opinion. If you have a group of people that stand for something correct and go about it the right way, you can get on top. You can help. And you and everyone else in that community can profit from it. So long as you are not infringing on the rights of anyone else. My opinion, COPPA infringes on the rights of other people. Where's my proof? If someone makes animations that are relatively childish in nature, they can be called out on it. And it's unfair. You can't tell the YouTuber what their intention was. That is a slippery, slippery slope. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm gonna stick around, but you might not see some videos for maybe the first few weeks of 2020. I wanna see what the FTC does. still have my concerns about it. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. We're gonna be okay, guys. Let's stick together.